Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, the um, absence of anything Windows 10 when you think about it uh, in the last few days um, and with Build Conference going on we're definitely looking into the future. Uh, somebody was asking me if there's any mention of Windows 10 something new, something that will change uh, and of course uh, some are still speculating oh well there will be a Windows 10 24 H2 or something. No. Windows 10 is really, really now. Uh, and it's obvious by the keynotes. It's obvious by all the presentations and everything that Microsoft talks about that Windows 10 is on its way out. And I mean, we're a year and a half from end of support. Uh, then there'll be three years extended support if you want to pay for it. Um, I think it's the big time where they're making a push to try to have people really move on to Windows 11. Um, it's uh, obvious that that's what it is now. Um, you know, Copilot has made its way to Windows 10. Um, it's made its way, of course, into the Edge browser in Windows 10. But when you look at that um, and you think about it, um, there will be really much, nothing much to add to it and Copilot although can be um, upgraded and made better it will definitely not be um, the big you know AI of Windows 11 and 24H2 in any way and um, the AI push is not going to go much to Windows 10 um, especially with, with you know the operating system being close to to the end there's no more incentive and Microsoft definitely wants people to move on. So uh, this is good news, I think, for anybody that's on Windows 10 because we've said it before, boring is good. The least amount of new stuff, the least amount of anything that changes your habits is better as you'll be using Windows 10 the way it is until the end and um, nothing much is gonna change part that. So we're gonna continue surfing on you know, security updates and bug fixing updates up to a certain point. I expect the bug fixing updates to end sometime early next year. They're not going to do bug fixing updates probably until the end. They'll probably w stop at some point early next year, I would guess. But the you know, important ones, which are the security updates, will continue on until October 2025. And then they will continue if you, of course, pay for the um, extensions. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.